In this video, I will show you how to create hyper-realistic consistent characters from a single image using Design AI. Let's get started. Once you sign up for the platform, click on New Project. First, we will start by designing our character. Let's give the name Consistent Character. I will choose 16 to 9 as an aspect ratio and we create our project. First, we will start by designing our character. For this job, click on text to image. Here we can generate our character by typing a prompt. I wrote this prompt, cinematic full body shot of an ancient warrior woman in a flowing red outfit with high slits, adorned with golden jewelry and armbands, standing confidently in front of a simple white background. This simple background will be extremely helpful in the upcoming steps. As the next step, I will choose Design Realistic Version 2 Engine because I want to create a realistic looking character. Then I will pick Aspect Ratio as 9 to 16 because I want a vertical shot. And if you want to enhance the details and texture of your image, ensure to check mark this toggle on. Let's hit Generate. Our images are ready. I think I like this one the most and I decided to use that as my character. Now, in order to train my consistent character, I will need a couple of images of the same character in various environments and poses. For this job, I'm clicking on AI video. And as you can see, the, the character image I created is already placed in here. Now I'm gonna double click on this and my image is automatically placed on the canvas. I will use image to video in order to generate multiple dynamic poses of my character. As you can see on the left side, Design AI offers variety of state-of-the-art AI video models. I'm gonna choose Clink 1.6 for this job and I wrote this prompt. She turns around to show her outfit. I hit generate. I also wrote this prompt. She looks surprised by something she saw to ensure that I will have images of the same character with different face expressions. I also hit this generate and I wrote she looks sad and I hit generate. This seamless integration between image generation and image to video makes things extremely simple for us and really streamlines my workflow. My videos are ready. Let's see this. As you can see my character in the video turns around herself and this will allow me to capture her from different camera angles and it will help me with the training my character. Here's next video where she turns around again. Here's another video where my character looks surprised. And this one where she looks sad. As a next step, I'm going to download these videos. And to take snapshots automatically from these videos, I will use a third party tool called sgif.com. And here you need to choose video to image option. And I hit upload video and I hit convert. And then sgif will capture all frames from the video and I can just simply pick the ones I want to use in my character training. I'm gonna do same with the other two videos. So now I have images of the same character from various perspectives and with various emotions. I go back to design, select character and consistent character training. Keep in mind that before training your character you can enhance and upscale all of your images. And I would highly recommend you to do that. So for enhancing process, I picked portrait option because I don't want to lose consistent details of my character's face. All I want is a bit of a advancement. So now this looks much better. And I will do same thing for all of the images. Now enhancement work is done. I can train my character. In order to do that, I select the character option. I have two options here. I can either create a character sheet and use this to train a character. I'll pick consistent characters, choose a character, and I will create a new one. Let's name our character as Venus. And now I will select the images I created for my character. I uploaded five images of the same character and I hit train. And as you can see, training already started. Our character training has completed. Now you can see Venus appears as a character. After choosing Venus, the default prompt will appear here. And what we can do is now we can generate images with same character from various camera angles. And we can even change clothing. 
For example, I wrote this prompt, cinematic close-up photo of Venus holding a sword in combat pose in front of an ancient temple. And you need to ensure that your character name is mentioned in your new prompt. And here is the result. As you can see, it has a fantastic resemblance to our original character. And it managed to give us a perfect close-up shot. Let's try something new and create a side view photo instead of close up. And we will even change the context and timeline of this photo. Now I wrote another prompt, cinematic side view photo of Venus in New York City. So now I'm also changing a little bit the context. Let's hit generate. Our image is ready. Now you can see our character Venus in New York City setup from side view. Another cool thing is, since you have end-to-end -end connection between text-to-image and image-to-video on Design AI, we can easily bring this to an AI video generator. So we click on AI video and image of Venus is here. And all we need to do is choose an AI video generator, write our prompt and then it will create a video from this image. This time I picked runway. And let's also apply a camera motion here to improve cinematic effect. I wrote Dolly in shot natural movement as a prompt and I hit generate and our video is ready. Let's hit play. I'm going to choose clink and let's write a prompt. Camera slowly focuses to her face and we have also possibility to change and find balance between creativity and prompt adherence. I will bring this closer to relevance to ensure that my prompt will be taken into account and I hit generate. And our video is ready. Let's see the result. Okay, this actually did much better. In runway, I had a bit of struggle. It's probably because I use a technical term, dolly in shot. Sometimes it's hit and miss with runway. And that's the cool thing about design AI because you are able to change model. So if one model doesn't do the best, you can just switch to another model. And here Clink managed to get the camera motion right. There's an alternative method for generating consistent characters and it's called character sheet. So when you click on character sheet on design AI, it automatically takes you to 3D render model. This is perfect for creating Pixar looking characters like this one. And you may realize there are also many different alternative models that you can try here. There's anime version, for example, pop geometry, the comic style. So sky is the limit. I will continue with realistic style. And let's generate a character sheet now. And I wrote character sheet of a futuristic superhero woman wearing a sleek form-fitting green and red bodysuit with geometric designs form-fitting green and red bodysuit with geometric designs, short dark hair, standing confidently in front of a white minimalist background. So again, this background part is really important for the next step. And I definitely add the character sheet to the beginning of my prompt. I pick 16 to 9 as an aspect ratio, and I highly recommend you to use a white aspect ratio for this particular job because we need space for our character sheet and I check mark high quality again and we hit generate and our character sheet is ready so you can see that by this method we managed to create a sheet with our character posing dynamically from multiple perspectives and as you know we need these multiple perspectives for our character training step I think I like this one the most I highly recommend you to enhance and upscale this image before the next step. So I'm gonna hit enhance and upscale for the first image. I choose portrait and creative strength, which will bring more details and texture to my character sheet. And I hit enhance. An enhancement work started and it's done. So you can see we have a little bit more texture and details now. And I'm going to double click on this image here to place this on canvas. You can see more details here. And now before the next step, I need to crop these images one by one to prepare them for character training. For this job here, you will see the crop option in the toolbox and I hit crop and then we crop so easily and it's cropped. Now you can export this image using the export button on the right hand side. And once this is done for the next perspective, you can double click again and crop the second image like this and export it again. 
And once you have all these images created, all you need to do is going back and clicking on consistent character option again. This simple. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more about creative intelligence, click here.